and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Fortune Aggro. Similar to the Burn Aggro, if you like playing that deck, or if you want to do something a little bit different, maybe a little bit less um, burn spell, some more attack in it, if you want to play Misfortune. This is what this is what we got for you. This is Fortune Aggro. What's up, fishies? 14 awesome months of that resub. Saying after a brief hiatus, I'm back. Welcome back. Our eighth sub of the day. All right, so yeah, so we're playing Misfortune and really taking advantage of this tr uh, attack trigger, dealing one to the enemy ne enemies and the enemy nexus by being really aggressive and getting um, as much damage in as we can. So that one damage also adds up and helps. Plus, we got the deckhand combo. We're going to be playing Dreadway deckhands. If we get a powder keg in here, then that attack trigger does two to everything. Um, but, you know, we can also use that deckhand with make it rain that's also a pretty good combo playing deck hand and then make it rain um dealing two to three different random enemies i like our top end we got some scout creatures in here because the scout um getting the extra attacks is really good with misfortune so we got those we got the citrus we got one citrus courier at the top end to rally and get the extra attacks and also siren with the scout and that also helps us find misfortune so Pretty cool little uh, Noxus Bilgewater aggro. That's what we got going on for this deck. All right, let's play some games. Here we go. <clears throat> yeah, basically playing Misfortune because it's just a little bit more aggressive and you know fits the, the three mana slot. We have Misfortune and Draven there at the three mana slot. There's not like a lot of other great three drops that we want to play. Gangplank's, you know, slower, f cost five, if we're playing game plank, we're probably playing a, a more mid-range kind of deck. Yeah, I really like uh, Wolf Rider. Um, and so, yeah, you're going War Mothers with Wolf Rider, Ember Maiden. I like that. That sounds pretty good. One, two. Let's do it. I like it. I have my orders. Boo. It's a fun word to say, though. Parlay. Parlay. It's a fun word to say. Yes. Crimson Disciple to go with these Demolitionist. Yes. Yes. Worried the deck will run out of gas? That's a good, good combo right there. Yeah, we are kind of like relying on our, our champions. Like maybe I need to mulligan more aggressively because we had neither champion. Both Misfortune and Draven are very powerful and they're cards that I uh, definitely want to see. I'm going to go ahead and take this because we may draw Make It Rain. Not Make It Rain. Okay. So we'll go... And plus, that would grow the Bark Beast to be in a 3-3. We'll grow Grenadier Demolitionist. Yeah, basically, with, with the barrels, we want to make sure that, like, whenever we get the Powder Kegs, we play something that does damage to them immediately. Because we don't want, we don't want them to be able to challenge and kill the barrels. The 3-3 three is a little annoying.
I'm not sure it's worth attacking out. This is the second time I've played this deck. We went we went 4-1 the last time that we played it. Um, but yeah, no having no champions, having only two mana cards, we may not have like this this game we may not have the power to finish them out. Just passing. doing over here all right nothing I definitely should have mulliganed the deck hand I feel bad for not mulliganing that go ahead make it rain do damage to my... No. Problem with playing playing these, like again, they'll they'll just challenge those powder kegs. Alright, looks like we lost this one. I'm not My friends a misfortune would be a really good draw. So, you know, we'd be able to attack like be able to go like powder keg, powder keg, misfortune. Attack, do three to all their stuff. That could be pretty good. Ready to write this down as a loss. We'll take our draw step though. We'll give it a try. Something for all of you. Oh, I already wrote it down. That does one to me. Their warning shot does the other one. And we were at two. Okay, mulligan a little bit more aggressively. Mulligan away, just the random two drops. 
because <laughs> sometimes you'll just draw all random two drops and you're gonna need a little bit more power to win all right like so we're gonna mulligan this thing away and i don't know See, again like i don't know if i that does seem okay I don't know. Maybe... Am I not learning my lesson? Do I need to be mulliganing? Like, Crimson Disciple, just ship it? Yeah, that's true. That parlay really hurt. That's true. That, that turn one parlay. What they had there that last game? Graven... And yeah, the, the Ravens. Yeah, that, that's true. The, the one mana Raven card. Also very good. Those two one mana cards were really efficient for our opponent last game. Raven's Flock, maybe? Badger Bear. Don't get to really attack with the other stuff. See, this now would be a good time for the deck hands. Hey, we got we got the tracker. Didn't want to let them play Bright Steel Protector afterwards. No! 75% chance. We missed. Yeah, I think doesn't have Challenger, bud. Yeah, maybe I just shouldn't have done that second make it rain. I just shouldn't even played that and just just played, you know, the two one drops instead. I don't know, it's fine.
Yeah. Gotta get that repost in. Alright, we're playing... Nope, we're playing you. And then I can do the two two drops. Or rear guard in a two drop. Sure. We're also playing you. So it's which one of you do we want to play? All right, so I attack out. This blocks Draven. Uh, four four blocks three two. Um, two one blocks three one. Uh, three two blocks there. Two two blocks there. We do four damage. We lose everything. They lose three things. You hoping they'll die of boredom? Basically. Could see attacking with everything but Draven, also. Yeah, they had they had a, they had definitely had a good hand. Like that was that was a great turn for them too. Bright Steel Protector is pretty awesome. I I mean I, I really should not have played that second make it rain. I should have played the two one drops and then just untapped and attacked. Like that that would have made that would have been like the play. Uh, then they wouldn't be able to have the Bright Steel Protector for prote Bright Steel Protector for protection. They wouldn't have had that four four. That would have been a lot better. When you're playing a deck like this, you can't really make a poor decision like that. I, I really should not have cast that other Make It Rain. I think if, I, if I would have done the other line, I think I would have won this game. But I didn't, so. Here we are, surrendering. The Poros were trying to help. They're trying to help. They were. Hey, Faint. Hey, Faint. All right. Let's try to clean this up. Hey, Jump Rub. Yep, yep, I agree, Marpaletti. Aggro can definitely be like that. One one mistake, you're out. Especially, like, they, they had, like, the perfect five mana to punish me, right? Bright Steel Protector, that's a, a blocker plus your Draven's dead, and then also, then 4-4. Four, four. So, like, I thought I was going to be able to go, um, go wider that five mana. With five mana, I was triple spelling, but they really had... Uh, the answer to to real, really punish me. Um, of course 
Um, so supposedly tier S is supposed to be the the best decks. Supposedly, that's what that's what the whole tier S thing means. Um, right now, I would not say the Mobile Addicts website is accurate as far as tier S decks go. What's my play against Transfusion? What are you waiting for? You poor thing. Time to go. Come on. Boo. All right, so now I have my transfusions to kind of um, counteract their transfusion. Not kill my Draven. Stop trying. Puts me down to seven. Every wave is a path. That's a good one. It's a good one drop scout. War Mason, reporting for duty. So down to five. Yeah, I've I've never really I've never really agreed with the aggro is brain dead um, claim. There there are some games that you just have great hands that you just you know play your cards and you just curve out and you're, you're uh, you win or games that your opponents really stumble that you don't really have to make too many decisions. But see, a lot of games are 
close with aggro decks that eking out the last points of damage, um, you know, is uh, is difficult, and and better players will be able to do it more often. It's just there's there's just some games that, especially like games that your opponent doesn't have a good hand at all. There's just some games that. Uh, look completely one-sided and so people will say that because of it. Alright, so this time I mulliganed the random two drops. We found champion and still found random two drops anyway. So I'm glad we did. Yeah, the Neverglade deck was not well put together. Um, like, it's a very spider-heavy deck. The spiders were not good in that. Like, the cards they had just weren't good together. It just um, they had some good cards, but a lot of cards that were not good at all and just put it together like you can't have decks with cards that are not good i really like playing this card on defense on turn four because we get to attack with it right away and you know have like the go straight to attacks but then still play like these things and then um like after combat and then still get to attack again I guess I play Misfortune though, don't I? Was planning on going straight to attacks, but gotta play Misfortune first. Not only for the attack trigger, but then also for leveling up Misfortune, but mostly for the attack trigger. I don't expect us to actually level up Misfortune. I don't expect that to actually happen. really that attack trigger. Wow. <laughs> Bubby, you put your can right behind me. I just stepped on it. They play two spells? I hope not. No, they did. Yeah, Mystic Shot and Thermogenic Beam.
kind of want to kill their Ezreal instead of doing three damage to them, but that's got to be wrong. So I still kind of want to do it. Yeah, I could just go straight Crimson blocking. That's the safer play. This is like the higher upside is block with that and then Fervor. But they like use removal in response to the Fervor. That's kind of bad for me. They'll kill like one of my Crimsons with this. Then we'll go straight to attacks. I hope they don't have a one mana spell to pair with this Mystic Shot. That would be bad. Hey, Mamba. So, yeah. Uh, Marplay says, I always think that MTG is the most complex card game, but sometimes you don't really have any decisions to make, especially with how the mana works and how instant speed works. I find myself making more decisions in Runeterra, even if MTG is harder to play optimally. I, I think that Runeterra is a lot harder to play optimally, honestly. I don't think it's actually particularly close. I think this is a lot harder to play. Now, MTG is still probably the more complex card game because uh, deck building is a lot more difficult in MTG, and then sideboarding is a lot. You know, you have sideboarding where you don't have sideboarding here. Those, that's where you gain edges in MTG is deck building and sideboarding. The actual gameplay is, is honestly, it's very rudimentary in my opinion. There is not difficult decisions to make a lot of the time in in Magic. You just, um, and a lot of games are just decided on mana, but, and. This game, both players like always have really good mana. Both players always have uh, a lot of cards that, and like the combats, combat like even like the left to right stuff. Like there's just so much, so many decisions in this game. Um, I think this is a lot more difficult game to play, but there's there's a lot more to Magic though than just the game, the outside the game stuff that's intense. I guess we're safe attacking here too. Well, obviously I was gonna have the Noxion Fervor to try to help finish this off, but now we got the Citrus Courier. Yeah, that's true. There is some sequencing stuff with like upkeep and all that kind of stuff, but. Um, no, I, I, I honestly think this is a lot harder to, to play optimally. It's there's usually have so many different sequencing decisions every turn that are pretty difficult. Play the citrus courier, getting oranges. All me. And maybe those other guys. Whatever. Gotta bring the bring the oranges along. Okay, back to two and two. There we go. Clean it up. Back to 500. Let's get this win. Get another over 500 league. Yeah, courier is pretty sweet. The orange man. Orange man. Yeah, that, that's a good point too, Rex. Yeah, you draw every turn, you play you play your units or creatures every turn, and you draw every turn and, and so yeah, it's uh, you know, so it's kind of more decisions that way too. You don't get turns off where you get to really Think about your next turn while you're taking a turn off. It's constantly changing. All right, we're going to uh, keep these. Fiora, Frel, Yord. I'm probably not supposed to just keep random ones and twos, but this is a pretty decent hand. So we'd have 
Rear guard attack to start. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Rear guard attack to start. Turn two, play Demolitionist. Turn three, uh, Demolitionist plus Butcher. Oh, the Siren. Siren's cool. What, they just passed and didn't play their sentry? If I... If I play Demolitionist Butcher pre-combat, they could go Fiora, and then I don't have very good attacks with the Demolitionists. Um, could go straight to attacks. They block here. They take two. That's not great. I think this is worth it. Darn. This still gives me just two three mana things I can attack with. I'm gonna attack with everything though. Or two three power things I could attack with. Okay, yeah, they have brittle steel. Oh, just chain vest. Alright. Pretty tough. Alright, down to nine. That's not bad. Turn three, half the life total. Let them eat souls. All go. Wouldn't mind some interaction for this Fiora now, though. But I guess not. Like, we really want the, the uh, Noxion 3-drop. That's the card we want. Noxion Fervor. Let's go. Noxion Fervor. Come on. Noxion Fervor. No. Um... So the thing is, if I attack, they kill me. I only do 7 damage. This Fiora kills me. Why? I don't... Shouldn't they just take the Powder Keg?
Sometimes people just have the perfect fewer hand, and they did. GG's. Fiora is very good with Take Heart, and it's a really good combination, and with Frostbite and stuff. The problem with my opponent's deck is the games you don't have Fiora. Your deck's not any good, but if you have Fiora, and if your opponent's playing a bunch of small creatures, and they can't deal with your Fiora, you win. That's just a lot of ifs. Because even if you have Fiora, but if they don't play small creatures, you know, like there's, there's a lot of things that are kind of wrong with just a f f uh, that kind of deck. Yeah, they do have Entreat, but that's still only six. That's still six copies in your deck. So you have, you have to draw one of those six cards. <laughs> that doesn't happen that often. There's still going to be a lot of games you don't draw those. Oh well. Um, this deck didn't look as good as it did the previous time. All of these random two drops didn't look as good as they did the previous time that we played this deck, especially the Dreadway Deckhand. The Dreadway Deckhand and the Make It Rain. Those kind of looked like the worst things in our deck. That's why I was really disappointed by those two cards. Besides that, the rest looks pretty good. I wouldn't mind dropping both of those cards and getting some more uh, top end stuff, but also probably like some more removal without the Make It Rain. So, you know, like just kind of regular Noxus removal, like Culling Strike or Noxion Guillotine. Um, those kind of cards. Maybe like a couple more of those instead of the Make It Rains. And then maybe um, some other top end cards, which there's a lot of good options in these uh, regions. Um, one card I, I am kind of interested to try out more is this Armored Tusk Rider. I'm interested to try that card out a little bit more. Um, but yeah, that's, that's kind of what I'd say about this deck right now is... Uh, after playing those games, Make It Rain, Dreadway Deckhand, those cards looked pretty poor. The rest of our, the rest of the deck I liked. I think, you know, so we have a lot of good stuff. It's not very much that didn't look good, but those two looked pretty bad. Um, if you take, you know, if we replace Make It Rain, we need more removal. Um, and uh, then, yeah, probably a little bit more on the top end. Because we got, we got enough random twos, basically. All right, but there we go. That's Fortune Aggro. Um, uh, those of y'all watching on YouTube, you know the drill by now. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. I'd appreciate both of those. Leave those comments also. But thank you so much for watching. Deck number nine today on our 12-hour stream. We got one more to go. We're going to be playing some Twisted Ezreal. Thanks for watching Fortune Aggro, though, and I'll see you for the next video.